Okay, one, two, three. Mazel tov! <laughs> Zach, two years ago, it was here in South Haven that you asked me to marry you. And up until today, it was the best day of my life. <laughs> I feel immensely grateful that I get to share my life with you, and I'm beyond excited to be marrying you today. So, South Haven, Michigan, Certainly not the easiest of destinations, and you can blame Emily's great grandmother's uncle, Zelix Zipperstein. I love that name. <laughs> Emily and her sister Maddie, and all their cousins, all are here, have spent their summers in South Haven in Sleepy Hollow since they were infants. South Haven is truly Emily's happy place, and is a magical and special meeting for our family, our extended family, and now for Zach. We are standing under the chuppah, the most recognizable sign that we are at a Jewish wedding. It's beautiful, it's iconic, it's ageless, which is really a good thing because under the chuppah is no time for half-truths, it's no time for maybes, and it's really no time for hyperbole. It's a time to affirm what I know you've already done and that's to affirm what lives in your soul. And as I thought of the two of you embarking on this journey with all its wonder, I realized that you already embrace what is needed to stay connected with your partner. You have shown openness and vulnerability and compromise, definitely through this wedding, <laughs> lots of compromise, and through some very, very challenging times. Emily, from the moment we met, I have never felt more myself than when I'm with you. Your openness and tender care has allowed me to be truly me. When I'm with you, I feel home. Zach. When I saw you at a party eight years ago, it was an instant and unique connection. And I knew I wanted to spend as much time with you as possible. That's something that's not changed at all over the years. You're always my favorite person to be around, and I feel so lucky to have you in my life. When I was going through a difficult time, your unwavering faith and support helped me get through it. And our relationship was only made stronger because of what we went through together. Thank you so much for always being there for me. Zach. <laughs> Years ago, I used to think you were too perfect, and I couldn't figure out why none of my boyfriends measured up. <laughs> then, I realized I just had really bad taste in guys. <laughs> Until Lucas, of course. In all seriousness, you have been a part of our family for years, but today you broke the glass and made it official. Zach, wow. Your compassion and devotion have made you a man with wisdom beyond your years. We are grateful more than we can express to have you in our lives. Not only are we moved by your love for our daughter, but your love and kindness towards us. Your unconditional love for her is palpable and brings our family so much joy. You are incredibly devoted, compassionate, and supportive and would do anything for her. You encompass everything a sister would want for her sister, and I couldn't have handpicked a better guy, even if I tried. Ready? 
Holy sh <laughs> You look gorgeous. Wow. Mm. You look amazing. Look at you. You like it? Yeah, you look so good. I value your strength. The work that you've put in to bettering yourself has in turn improved us as a couple. You inspire me to constantly strive to be a better person. You are the strongest person that I know. Uh, growing up, Emily and I were polar opposites. Emily was courageous, bold, and confident. I, on the other hand, was cautious, fearful, and uptight. <laughs> My sister was born, eyes wide open, and ready to take on the world. I, however, came out crying hysterically, refusing to open my eyes, absolutely terrified to see what life had in store. Oh my god. Like my lad hug? Yeah. Oh, you look beautiful. I love you. You look gorgeous. Let me look at you. Em, I remember it as if it was yesterday, the first time I held you, just moments after you were born. It was truly an overwhelming moment and I felt like you were looking into my soul. I knew then that I was hopelessly a goner and that my love for you has only continued to grow from that point. I often tell people how lucky I am to have two such wonderful daughter-in-laws and I'm very fond of their parents. That's really lucky. But then I realize it's not luck. Thank you very much, Mike and Jam, for giving us wonderful, wonderful Emily. Throughout their time together, I've seen both Zach and Emily become stronger, both as individuals and as a couple. The communication, care, and dedication that each of them displays exemplifies what true love stands for. It's because of the love, admiration, and the devotion that each of them show each other that makes me so confident that they will have a long and happy marriage together. Wherever you go, you brighten the room. Your energetic spirit and contagious, bright smile have made life wonderfully fun. I will never be able to explain how grateful I am for all that you've shown me and for the world that you've opened up. There's a sacred nature to this joining. You are creating a relationship which you must care for and live by. You are being bound not by a bond or a contract of law, but an ancient covenant which is much beyond yourself.